Good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. What about yourself? Fine, fine. Thank you very much. Is it raining? Get ready. You live? Yeah. That's raining. That's yeah, it's raining heavy? a lot. A lot. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, hopefully the class is going to be like normal. I hope it doesn't get <laughs> worse with the rain. So, yeah. Because we, we don't want to replenish classes. It's not the rain, teacher. Okay. It's not the rain. It's not, you know, okay. It's not just the rain. Uh, Do they play the selector? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, I think <laughs> the one I was watching was the, the selector of football player. No, the three selection, beach soccer, the mayor and sub-23 playing in this moment at the same time in different tournaments. Oh, okay, okay. Well, let's wish them best of luck. <laughs> okay, and the rest of you, how's your day? Alexis, how are you doing? How was your Hello. day? <laughs> Hello. Um, I feel good. I I was working a whole day in the uh, Central Americanos play soccer or sports. In, oh, okay. So you've been I'm working. Very, yes, I'm very tired, but I feel I feel happy. Okay, that's nice because it's it's never boring. So you do different things, you cover different events. So I guess it's it's okay. So yeah, that's yeah. nice. And Magdiel, what about you? How was your day? Are you still driving or you're home already? Uh, probably he's not available. Carlos, uh, thank you for letting me know that you're still driving. Um, drive safe and let us know when you're ready to participate. So we're going to continue with, uh, well, today we're going to start the section number three. Um, we're going to start a new topic. I already sent the presentation to you. So I'm ready to start sharing my screen. Okay, I'm sharing the screen. I already sent this presentation to you and today we will start the section number three. And uh, the topic of this section is the product line. So we're going to continue uh, following the, the material uh, guidelines, but yes, we're going to, um, to do some kind of different exercises in order to uh, reinforce these topics. And in this section, the product line, we are going to describe who wants to read, describe the benefits? Volunteer to read? No volunteers? Okay, we're going to describe the benefits of building a new product, prototype before manufacturing. Design a basic plan for the manufacturing process of a new product. Describe the step to assemble a product. Describe risks and hazards at my workplace. Uh, for vocabulary, production line process, for example, functionality, flaws, feedback, source, mix, quality control, filter, capping, uh, labeling, packing, etc. Assembly process, for example, conveyor belt, bulk production, manual labor, machine hours, well, screw, tighten, adjust, etc. Uh, the grammar here is going to be indirect questions 
just no questions, indirect questions with information questions. The two types of questions, that's the topic we're going to be covering in this unit, the, the grammatical functions, the two type of questions, yes, no questions and under, and information questions. Uh, videos, you know that we have the links, but we do not play them um, on the online sections. You can play them uh, whenever you have a time, you have a chance, you can check those links for the videos. Uh, article, we have a reading there, description of machinery is in the production of shampoo, how to design a process and routing sheet, and design a process routing sheet. Maybe we're not going to be designing things or plans to design or create products, but yes, we're going to practice the indirect questions with just no questions and also information questions. That's what we're going to be covering in this section, in section number three. To start with, we have this conversation on page 25. As you may remember, we do not have audios for this one, so I'm going to read that for you the first time. And this is a conversation between Diana and Tom. Let's read. The accelerator has green light to be produced. Now, we need to work on the prototype. Great. I think our best choice is to hire steel masters so they build a good prototype to help us spot any flaw we haven't identified in the design. I agree, Tom. The prototype will help our manufacturers to be very accurate with their design on the handlebars, the frame and the saddle, which are the innovate feature of the accelerator. Good point. In addition, the prototype will ensure communication is clear. They will know exactly what we want. Totally. Then, I work on the sketch of the parts and you might want to start with the description and the specification of each. So still masters start working. All right. Okay, any um, question? Okay, volunteers to role play the conversation. Okay, I have Samuel and Alexis. Thank you so much. Okay, if you want Alexis, I be Diana and you Tom, are you agreeing? Whatever, <laughs> no problem. Okay, my start. The X lady, the lady, the X elevator has green light to be a produce. Now we need to work of the prototype. Great, I think our best choice is to hire is still master, so they build a good prototype to help us spot any flaw we haven't identified in the design. I'm agree, Tom. The prototype will be will help our manufacturers and uh, I'm agree, Tom. The prototype will help our manufacturers to be very accurate with the design 
of the handlebars. The frame and the sandal, which are the innovative features of the accelerator. Good point. In addition, the tip will ensure communication is clear. They will know exactly what we want. Totally. Then I work on the sketch of the parts, and you might want to start with the description and the specification of each. So, still, master, start working. All right. Excellent. Very well done. Um, just to reinforce the word prototype. Prototype. But then, excellent. Perfect. Um, do we have two more volunteers? Any other two volunteers? I see Magdiel is having issues due to rain. And some other are still going home. So no more volunteers? Mario, thank you so much. A volunteer to role play with Mario? Me, teacher. Thank you, Cristina. The accelerator has green light to be, to be produced. Now we need to work on the prototype. Right. I think our best choice is to hire a steel masters so they both will a uh, good prototype to help to support any flaw we haven't identified in the design. I agree, I agree too, I agree Tom, I agree Tom, the, the prototype will help all manufacturers to be very accurate, Accurate. 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 Okay, gracias. Accurate with the design. With the design. Of the handle bars, the front and the saddle, which are the innovative features. 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 Yes, features. Of the accelerator. Good point. In addition, the prototype will ensure communication is clear. They will know exactly what we want. Totally, then will work on the sketch of the parts and do me want to start with the description and a specific Specifications. Specifications. Of, of each. Of each. Okay. To a steel master start working. All right. Okay. Pretty good. Thank you so much for your participation, Maria and Christina. You did it very good. Okay. So now, based on this conversation, we have another exercise. It's what are two reasons Diana and Tom mentioned to build a prototype of the accelerator? What are the distinctive features of a new product? And what two tasks will Diana and Tom do before ordering the prototype to steel masters? I'll give you time for you to um, Answer these three questions. Remember that this conversation is on page 25 of your material that you download from the platform. And also I sent the presentation before the class. So you can check in. If you have the material, you can check on page 25 as well.
Ready? Have you finished or you need more time? Volunteers to answer number one. What are two reasons Diana and Tom mentioned to build a prototype of the accelerator? Do you have the answers or are you still working? Teacher, I have a number one. Mm -hmm. Yes, my dear. Okay. Uh, the two reasons are the prototype will help our manufacturing and will ensure communication is clear. Uh huh. There are two, two reasons. Okay. Pretty good, pretty good, my dear. Uh -huh. Manufacturing and communication. Uh-huh, yes, and they will be able to identify any flawless, right? Any flaw, any things that can be improved. Mm -hmm. So, yes, thank you so much, my dear. Number okay, two, a volunteer. What are the distinctive features of a new product? Does anyone have the answer? What are the distinctive features of the new product? Nobody has that answer? Or you need more time to check them? Hey, let's... Uh... Let's write it on that one. Let's see number three. What two tasks will Diana and Tom do before ordering the prototype to Steel Masters? Features and tasks. Remember the features and the tasks. Well, about the features, um, I would say that the only features that they are mentioning here is basically um, it's it's not the uh, it's just the characteristics of uh, the handlebars, the frames, and the only the handlebars and the frames. So yes, those two characteristics because the saddle is the thing itself, es, es como el asiento ya en sí. So, las únicas características que están mencionando que serían las handlebars y el frame. 
that would be just the, the two characteristics that probably they are asking about. And what about number three? What two tasks will Diana and Tom do before ordering the prototype? Nobody has that answer? According to the last part, they are going to work, um, Diana, We'll work on the sketch of the parts and Tom probably will start with the description. So those are the answers for those two uh, last questions, number two and three. Uh, in this part, in the building vocabulary part that is on the next page of your material, the one that you download from the platform and the uh, in this part, we have to rank the advantages of prototyping from the most relevant to the least relevant being the number six. Uh, this is not like a right answer. So that is personal. What do you think uh, according to your criteria, what is the most relevant um, advantage of making a prototype. So for number one would be the most relevant and number six, the least. We have here obtain more details to describe the product more effectively. Verify the functionality of the product. Uh, for example, identify flaws that were not foreseen in the design stage review initial product shapes of branding images, elicit feedback from customers or early adopters, assess the performance of various material, ensure potential manufacturers are capable of making the prototype, sourcing the parts, putting them together, etc. You can number them from one to six.
have you finished? Volunteer to share. What do you have? What do you think is the most and to the least relevant? I have a few doubts about the issues, the performance of various materials. So the number one. Okay. But uh, I have a five with very the functionality of the product. Identify flags that were uh, not for instance in the design stage. That. This is uh, after, it's before they started the prototype.
That might be confusing, right? Anybody else?
Okay, ready? Remember that there are no right or wrong answers in this exercise. It's just for you to, just to make you um analyze things like, uh, for me, I guess, well, at least for me, um, number one, uh, maybe would be, um, um, maybe review initial product shape of branded images. Mm, number two, uh, obtain more details to describe the product more effectively. Mm, number three, assess the performance of various materials. Uh, and so on. I think that for me, that would be the first three. But what do you have? What do you think? Probably you would have as number one, uh, um, verify the functionality of the product. For example, identify flaws that were not foreseen in the design stage. Mm, that could be a good option to be the number one, the most important. What do you think? What do you have? Can you share? Or you haven't finished, you need more time. Okay, let us check attendance. Let's stop with this exercise for a while. We're going to check attendance. Let's uh, listen and say present as soon as you hear your names. Right. Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Present teacher. El Mejía Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Castro Santana. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Emilio Coto. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Humberto Estrada. Carlos Humberto Estrada. Cecia Noemi Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Ernesto Acuña. Present teacher. Thank you. Person Alexis Funes. Present coach. Okay, Gertrude Saimara. Gertrude Aymara. I don't see Gertrude Aymara. Okay, she's probably a listener. Mm. Hazel Vanessa. Present teacher. Thank you. Julissa Yamile. Julissa Yamile. Thank you, Julissa. Carla Ivania. Thank you, Carla. Thank you, Julissa. I see that you're writing in the chat, so you're present there. Luis Javier.
Luis Javier, Magdiel Esaú. Present teacher. Thank you. Marilyn Alejandra. Present. Thank you. Mario Ernesto. Present. Thank you. Melanie Alexandra. Present. Okay, thank you. Samuel Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Santos Cristina. Present teacher. Thank you. Victor Bonilla. Present teacher. Okay. Okay, uh, let's continue then with the next exercise. And here we have a conversation. Present teacher. Thank you, Aymara. Thank you. Um, in this conversation, three managers are in a meeting to discuss the production process of a new shampoo. We're going to read the conversation and take a turn practicing. You have the three managers there. Lucia, Marta, and Craig. Let me read the conversation for you. I wonder if you received a copy of the analysis of the production process. I have, thank you. I have, thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I'd like us to re revise the step to verify that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Right. I'd like to know if the quality control step should be repeated once the product is finished. Yeah, that's a good point, Greg. Marta, would you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality control would go very high? Of course, let me revise my files. Greg, could you find out if the production manager is around? I need him to clarify that what the revision step is about. Okay. As uh, so you see in the, the words in bold, they are a grammatical point here. So they are in the right questions. And we have them in just no questions and also WH questions. And we're going to go deeper on that later. In the meantime, do I have three volunteers to wrap by the conversation? Or you have any questions? I think that for this one, we can go ahead and practice it in the breakout room so that you can feel more comfortable. Do you have any question about this conversation? Okay, if no questions, I'm going to proceed to create a breakout room so that you can practice it with your classmates. Uh, we need three, remember, and this is on page 27 in your material, in the one that you download from the platform, and this also in the PowerPoint I sent before the class. So let me... Um, uh, so I'm going to stop sharing for a while to um, enable you to share again uh, in case that you want to. Now you're able to share if you need to do so. And, and let's practice. Hello, Cecilia. Hello, Miguel. 
tiene para compartir. Uh, sí, yo creo que puedo. Pero... <risa> Okay. Hola. Puede verlo. Sí, gracias. Si gusta. Una pregunta, no se escucha el ruido de la lluvia cuando abro el micrófono. ¿Cómo? No se escucha el ruido de la lluvia cuando abro el micrófono. No. Okay. We are going to practice no. the conversation. Sí. No sé si lo puede hacer solo un poquito hacia arriba, porque yo tengo unas letritas aquí abajo y me tapan la última parte donde dice Lucía. Ahí está bien. ¿Está bien? <coughs> sí. Okay. You, are, you are Lucía. And I'm Martha. Okay. But I need, I need, uh, que ser, tienen que ser tres. Yes. yes. Ya hablo el tercer. Oh. We're ready. Let's go. Okay. Um, I wonder if you receive a copy of the analysis for the production process. Uh, thank you. I have, thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I'd like us to receive the step to verify that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Right. I'd like to know if the quality control step should be repeated once the product is finished. <clears throat> Yeah, that's a good point, Greg. Marta, would you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high? Of course. Let me revise my file. <clears throat> Greg, could you find out if the productions Manager is around. I need him to clarify the step is about. <coughs> okay. Now I am here. Okay. I, I Mara, no sé si quiere participar. Con Mario y Nadie para que practique un ratito. Hello, hello. No sé si. Oh, okay, eh, I'm Lo. 
a Melodía. O... Eh, no sé quién de ellos dijo que iba a ser Lucía esa vez. Si gusta, sea usted Marta o Greg. Greg tendría que ser. Porque... Ok. Está bien. Eh, creo que Ariel dijo que iba a ser Lucía. Ok. I'm going to start. I, I wonder if you restart a copy of the analysis for the production for I have, thank you. Hi, Mara. I have, thank you, Lucia. It's my turn. Perfect. I'd like us to, re to re revise the steps to verify that we are ready to start producing a new shampoo. I'd, I'd like to know if the quality control step shall be repeated once the product is finished. Yeah, that's a good point, Greg, Marta. Would you mind telling us if the... Mm -hmm. In the case of mine, mm -hmm. cool jumping, okay, ver. Um, spelling, spelling, mm -hmm. spelling, spelling. Mm -hmm. Um, Telling us if the cost to run a second quality control uh -huh. will go very high. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Of course, yeah, yeah. let me revise my files. Mm -hmm. um, Expect should be repeat. As yeah, be expect should be repeat. Yes. Uh, a step should be repeated. A step should be repeated. repeated. Should, be, okay. should be repeated. Should be repeated. Okay. Mm, I wonder if you say a copy. Resay. I wonder resay. if you receive a copy. Receive a copy. Okay. No sé si quieren practicar los otros dos que están en el grupo. Yes. Yes. Sabemos que... Ah, te había contado, sí. Bueno, ah, pues mejor todavía. Ah, pues okay. practiquen otros. Ustedes tres, ¿quiénes son? Okay. Uh, okay. 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 I'm Lucía. Ok. I wonder if you recite a copy of the analysis for the production process. I have that. I have, thank you. I have, thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I'd like us to recite to step two, five, that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Right. I like to know is the quality control is that will be repeated once the product is finished. Yeah, that's a good point. Greg, Marta, would you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high? Of course, let me revise my file. Greg, call to find call out if the production manager is around. I need him to clarify what the recite step is about. Next. One more time. Si usted intercambia 
digamos, por ser. Ok. okay. I will uh, order I you receive a copy of the analysis for this I, I have. You. Thank you. Oh. Sorry. I have. Thank you, Lucia. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I like you to release the step to verify that that we are ready to start products or new shampoo. Right. I like to know if the qualified control that shall be repeated once the book is finished. Yeah, that's a, a good point, Marta. Good to mind telling use if the cost to roam a second quality control will go very high. Of course. Let me revise my files. Greg, could you find out if the production manager around? I need high to clarify what the revision tip is about. Okay. Intercambio otra vez. Ahora yo seré Marta. Yo voy a ser Greg. Me. ¿Y Lucía? Ok. 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 I wonder if you recite a copy of the analysis for the production. I have, thank you. I have, thank you, Lucía. Perfect. I like us to revise the step to verify that we are, we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Right. I Okay, I think that everything, everyone is back from break breakout room. So about this conversation that you were practicing in the breakout rooms, we have three questions. What is the new product Lucia, Marta, and Greg are discussing about? Number two, what are two steps of the production process they mentioned in the conversation? And finally, number three, what did Greg suggest about the production process? We have time to answer these three questions. If necessary, you can go back to the conversation to get that information. If you don't remember, that's okay. If you, if you need to read them again, that's fine. The number one teacher is shampoo. Yes, they are discussing about the new shampoo. Very good, Miguel. Mm -hmm. 
Number two. Now, Magdiel gave us the answer for number one. Number two, what are two steps of the production process they mentioned in the conversation? What is it called? Quality control. Okay. Excellent. They mentioned the quality control and production. Excellent. Number three. What did Greg suggest about the production process? The quality control step should be repeated once the product is finished. Uh -huh. a, second, a second quality inspection. Excellent. That's good. So as you remember here in the conversation, we have a couple of uh, sentences and questions that you see them in bold. Uh, like, I wonder if you received a copy. I'd like to know if the quality control steps should be repeated. Would you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality control would go very high? And could you find out if the production manager is around? So those are indirect questions, indirect requests. So we have here the grammar explanation on our material. If you want to check it in your in the, in the material you download, it's on page 28. And uh, how to use indirect questions. Just no questions in this case. Look at the examples in the box. It says use indirect questions to ask questions in a more polite manner. An indirect question expresses the same meaning as a direct question, but it does not present the question word order. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, one interesting thing is here that um, no cambia el significado, es el mismo, pero el, el orden de la pregunta, vamos a ver que es un, un poco eh, eh, diferente, no es como lo que estamos acostumbrados a hacer, a iniciar con el auxiliar, con el verbo, so yes. y son utilizadas para eh, pedir algo de una forma mucho más cortés. Uh, Examples, 1A says, I wonder if you received a copy of the analysis of the production process. Comparado con, did you receive a copy of the analysis of the production process? Es la misma pregunta. Solo, I wonder if you received a copy of the analysis of the production process. La forma regular sería la B. Did you receive a copy of the analysis of the production process? Estamos siendo bien directo al punto, ¿verdad? No sin, sin, um, sin suavizarlo, ¿verdad? Si solo yendo no directo. So, la primera, si se fijan, es, es más suave, se siente más cortés. So, esas son las son indirect questions or requests. Eh, tenemos otro ejemplo en el 2A. Ahí tenemos el indirecto. I'd like to know if the quality control step should be repeated once the product is finished. Okay. Comparado con, should the quality control step be repeated once the product is finished? Suena mucho más eh, cortés la forma A, ¿verdad? Que la B. Aunque el significado es el mismo, tampoco es que esté malo eh, de la forma B. Pero pues eh, vamos a practicar haciéndolo de forma indirecta para ser más, eh, eh, más cortés. Tenemos más ejemplos acá. Marta, would you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality control would go very high compared to? Would the cost to run a second quality control go very high? Greg. Could you find out if the production manager is around compared to? Is the production manager around? Notice that if 
introduces the indirect question in which we will we have sentence order, okay? If es el que el que hace la introducción a la indirect questions. La indirect question va a tener un orden de oración. No es un orden como de pregunta a lo que estamos acostumbrados. Es más bien como si fuera una oración. Y ahí nos dice que primero va el sujeto, luego el verbo, eh, algún eh, verbo auxiliar como do, does, and did. Eh, are not included in the direct questions. Punctuation. Acerca de la puntuación, dice, when the introductory segment is a phrase, the resulting statement in the indirect question will take a period and not a question mark at the end. Como vieron, eh, tampoco lleva como un signo de pregunta, sino que un punto, porque el orden no es el, el orden tal cual de una eh, pregunta como las conocemos, ¿verdad? Entonces, por eso no va a llevar question mark, eh, sino que un punto. Cuando el segmento eh, eh, introductorio es una pregunta, eh, dice the resulting statement, la, la oración que nos resulta con la indirect question, va, va a llevar question mark at the end. Vamos a practicarlo más porque yo sé que esto no es como que tanto así de, de... Ah, ya lo agarré. No, vamos a tener más material eh, explicando más a detalle con ejemplos. Así que por ahorita vamos a intentar hacer esto. Use introductory phrases and questions to write indirect yes no question and compare answers with a partner. Uh, can you tell me, tenemos la primera, y luego, is the machinery capable of performing this process? Acuérdense que pueden retroceder en las diapositivas por si necesitan consultar eh, nuevamente el cuadrito que está acá. Thank you. 
Have you finished? Not ready yet? Not yet, teacher. Okay.
teacher. I finish it, but I don't know if everything is correct. Okay, can you read them, please? Uh, the number one would be, can you tell me if the machinery is, is capable? How can you pronounce this word, teacher? Capable? Capable. Capable. Mm -hmm. Capable of performing this these processes. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's good. So we can change can to could to make it a more um, polite. Could you tell me if if the machinery is capable of performing this process? Pretty good, Magdia. Do you have the number two? And the second one to be, I'd like to know the manufacturer will buy new machinery to produce our order on time. Mm -hmm. That can be, I'd like to know, or I wonder if that's another option, but you're doing it good, my dear. Thank you. Number three. Do you know the schedule and production control are forms complete? Control forms are complete. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sounds really good. Thank you so much. Number four. Do you have number four? Sorry, teacher. I have any issues because of the rain here. Yeah, I it's imagine. Rain here. Okay, no problem. So, did you finish all of them or just the first three? Okay, um, I know that this is quite, um, um, the information probably is quite, um, it's not enough or kind of difficult just with this uh, little square changing things like, yes. So, uh, como pudieron ver aquí en este cuadro, aunque es muy eh, poca información, eh, los que uh, hicieron pues algún par de oraciones pues estuvieron ya con eh, tal vez apoyándose de esto para lograr entender eh, cómo formar una indirect questions. So yes, I know this is quite difficult at the beginning. Es un puede ser un poquito difícil al principio, pero pues acá les presento más información. Eh, modelos, ejemplos para que, y también listening para que los podamos desarrollar eh, para empezar eh, podemos revisar el vocabulario favors vamos a estarlo haciendo con el tema de favores porque a veces pues puede hacer que también el vocabulario de estar como en cosas de producción de un nuevo producto, etcétera, etcétera, etcétera tampoco nos ayude entonces vamos a probar E orientando el topic, el tema a favores. So let's see, favors people dislike being asked. Could you buy me a coffee? Could you uh, treat me to a movie? Could you fix my computer? Could you babysit my kids? Could you lend me some money? Could you help me move to a new apartment? Could you pick up some groceries? Could you donate 
to my favorite charity? Okay, um, let's see, of these favors, let's see, what are the three that you dislike being asked? For example, I dislike being asked to lend money. Because then when you want your money back and you ask people to pay, they get mad. I also dislike being asked to babysit older kid. It's a lot of work and I'm not really, really patient with older kids. And I would also dislike being asked to donate to a specific charity. What about you? What of these lists are three Facebook you dislike being asked? Any volunteers? De esta lista de favores, ¿cuáles tres les molesta que les pidan? Que hagan. A volunteer. In my case, uh, money, <laughs> uh, uh, treat me to a movie. He babysit my kid. Okay, thank you so much for sharing, Alexis. As um another volunteer. No more volunteers. Okay, as we don't have more volunteers, we're going to um, go ahead and listen to this conversation. Let me stop sharing so that I can play the recording for you. Unit 3. Could you do me a favor? Page 16, Exercise 2, Conversation. Would you mind? Part A. Listen and practice. Hello? Hi, Mingu. This is Yana. Oh, hi, Yana. What's up? My best friend is in a band, and I'm going to one of his concerts this weekend. I'd love to take some pictures for his website. Would you mind if I borrowed your new camera? Um, no. That's okay, I guess. I don't think I'll need it for anything. Thanks a million. Sure. Um, have you used a camera like mine before? It's sort of complicated. Uh-huh. Sure. A couple of times. Would it be okay if I picked it up on Friday night? Yeah, I guess so. Well, it's an any question about this conversation that you just heard. Victor, I have a question. There is a word uh, 
No question then? No, teacher. No, it's okay. Okay. Okay, if there are no questions, I'm going to play the conversation one more time. And I'm going to click here to make a pause and allow you to repeat at home. We're going to do this exercise with our microphones off to avoid the delays with the internet. Unit three, could you do me a favor? Page 16, exercise two, conversation. Would you mind? Part A, listen and practice. Hello? Hi, Mingu, this is Yana. Oh, hi, Yana. What's up? My best friend is in a band, and I'm going to one of his concerts this weekend. I'd love to take some pictures for his website. Would you mind if I borrowed your new camera? Um, no, that's okay, I guess. I don't think I'll need it for anything. Thanks a million. Sure. Um, have you used a camera like mine before? It's sort of complicated. Uh-huh. Sure. A couple of times. Would it be okay if I picked it up on Friday night? Uh, I guess so. Oh, okay. Volunteers to role play this conversation. Me, teacher. Thank you, Magdiel. Uh, volunteer to role play with Magdiel. Okay, thank you, Abigail. Thank you. Hello. Hi, Mingu. This is Jana. Oh, hi, Jana. What's up? What's up? My, my best friend is in a band, and I'm going to one of his concerts this weekend. I'd love the I'd love to take some pictures for his website. Would you mind if if I borrow it, borrow it your new camera? Um, no, that's okay. I guess I don't think I know I need it for anything. Thanks, Amelia. Sure. Oh, have to you see a camera like my before? It's sort of complicated. complicated. Mm, sure, a couple of times. Would it be okay if I pick it? I pick it up on Friday night. Yeah, I get so. 
Okay, pretty okay. good. Excellent. Thank you so much for role playing. Um, would you like to uh switch roles? Yes, sure. Excellent. Hello. Hi, Miguel. This is Jane. Oh. Hi, Jana. What's up? My best friend is Ayama Bam, and I come to one of his concerts this weekend. I'd love to take some pictures for, high, for his website. Would you mind if I borrow your new camera? Oh, um, no. That's, that's okay, I guess. I don't think I'll need it or anything. Thanks, Anil. Sure. Um, are you using the camera like mine before? It's a short of complicated. Oh, sure. At a brief time, would it be okay if I pick it pick up on Friday night? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, pretty good. Thank you so much. Now let's review. Thanks a million. It's like una L. Thanks a million. Thanks a million. And uh, and the other one is a uh, million. Uh, sort of complicated. It's sort of you can put it together. Sort of complicated. And uh, that's it. Thank you so much for role playing. Do we have two more volunteers? Todavía tenemos chance para dos más. Teacher, what does it mean sort? Sort of complicated is, is sinónimo de decir kind of complicated. Es como, es algo o de alguna forma complicada. Más o menos complicado. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? or volunteers to role play? Alexis and Mario, thank you so much. Hello. Mario? Mario. Are you there, Mario? Hello, Mario. Okay, Alexis said hello. So you're Jana. Well, I think that Mario is having difficulties with the internet connection. Um, would somebody else can help us? Me, teacher. Thank you, Hazel. Ready, Alexis? Hello. Hi, Mingo. This is Jana. Oh, hi, Jana. What's up? My best friend is in a van, and I'm going to one of his this concert this weekend. I love to take some, some pictures for his website. Would you mind if I borrow your new camera? No, that's okay. I guess I don't think I need I need it for anything. Thanks a million. Sure. Uh, how do you say a camera like mine before? It's a sort sort of complicated. Um, sure. A couple of times, will it be okay if I pick it? I pick it up on Friday or Friday night. 
Yeah, I guess so. Okay, excellent. You did a very nice job. Excellent pronunciation. Um, I know that pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Eso sí les ha costado un poquito, lo noté. Pero solo tiene pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up on Friday night. That you said, would it be okay if I pick it up on Friday night? Mm -hmm. And then uh, that would be it for today. And mañana vamos a... Um, Ya con más ilustraciones, más ejemplos y más práctica con las eh, WH and direct questions. And uh, we're going to go ahead with this conversation as well. También tenemos listening. So I see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you, tomorrow. See you sleep well, and take care. Thank you so much for your time, Carol. Thank you for participating. Bye.